third video on functions. My name is Sifla Swake, my tutor of King David College. In our previous videos, we looked at if you are given a function and then you are given an input, you subject the input to the function and then you get a corresponding output. Then we look at in our subsequent video, um, if you are given an input which is more like a domain, a set of numbers, and you perform the same function, you also get that. So if you don't check that out, go to our previous videos on functions to check it out. There are more stuff for there to learn. Okay, today or in this very video, we are going to look at if you are given two different functions in a single question and you are asked to perform certain tasks on the functions, then how are we going to go about it? So for instance, let's say you have um, a situation like this. So you say f of x and f of x is giving us x squared plus 1 and another function, another function g of x which is giving us x plus 3. So you have these two functions in the same question. This is uh, x plus x squared plus 1 and then this is x plus 3. And then you are asked to perform these very tasks on it. So let's say the question say find say i f of 1. Find i f of 1 and then say i i the second task find g of say 2. You find g of say 2 and then i i i i i i will be most definitely let's say g of x plus f of x so you are giving these two tasks to perform and then maybe i b i b goes on to say you should find f of g of x or maybe v is asking to find g of f of x so either way Let's say you are given this and then you are asked to, to perform these five tasks we have here. Okay, how do we go about it? Alright, you know, you remember in the beginning of our introductory, the introductory video, that a function has a name, an argument, and then its expression, right? So with this very one, it means that any function that is called on, that is the exact expression you are going to make use of. So for instance, i is f of 1. So f of 1 means that we will be making reference to function what, f. We then compare this to that and therefore our x becomes 1. You can check that in the previous video. So it means that this particular one is we are finding the image of 1 under the function f. Okay. You are finding the image of 1 under the function f, f of x. So put this here, anywhere you see x in the expression, you are going to put in 1. So this is going to be 1 squared plus 1, and that is going to be 2. Okay, so then that will be the f of 1, the very answer you are looking for is 2, as simple as that. Then when we come to the second one, it's the same idea as the i. We are finding the image of 2 under the given g of x function. So with that one, you are just having anywhere where I will see x in g of x, I will just put in the input, the 2, right? So, this is just going to be where I find x, I will put in 2, so 2 plus 3, and that is going to be 5. This simple. So tax i and i i are just the normal task we performed in our previous video. So now the main idea in this video has to start from the i i i down to v. Okay, down to v. So with this established, I can now say, let me take this off. Then let's look at how we go about this. So Let's do a solution for this. So solution. Okay. If you look at I, I, I very well, you realize that they are giving you 
this statement which is saying what g of x plus f of x g of x plus f of x so what it simply means is that the g of x function you just sum that to the f of x function as simple as that so what is our g of x function our g of x function from the question is going to be x plus 3 and then our f of x function is going to be is x plus 1 so these are our two functions given to us in the question so if this is saying g of x plus f of x then simply sum the two functions so it's just going to be g of x plus f of x as we asked it's just x plus 3 this one plus what x squared plus 1 so we have this situation here so with this just a matter of expanding the bracket then you simplify so if you expand the bracket here the um, coefficients of the various brackets are just one sign so you can just do the expansion simply just bring everything that is within the bracket outside so that this will become x plus 3 plus x squared plus 1 so you have this okay so it is it's not so good to leave your answer like this so you do simplification so let's rearrange this in order of x so starting from the highest order okay so then this one is just going to be the highest order s squared first so bring s squared then you sum all the x's only one is here so plus x then plus you sum the constants together as well so summing the constants are going to 4 so then my expression g of x plus f of s is simply s squared plus x plus 4 as simple as this in some cases in some cases they can even ask you to find g of x plus f of x is equal to 0 okay g of x plus f of x is equal to 0 when that happens it means that they know you will get an expression like this when you follow the solution you done the, when you sum the two functions you are going to get an expression like this and therefore if you equate this to 0 as per what this question is saying then you see that this has just formed a quadratic equation a direct quadratic equation so it's just a matter of simplifying this using the quadratic expression you know how you express quadratic equations so you simplify that to get your the values of what your x as simple as this will be okay so whatever way this question is put that is how the idea is first generated so with this it will be this is not a type of question where they will equate it to zero because it will be difficult for us to find the individual factors that will help us to solve this quadratic equation so but note it's worth noting that there are some questions in the future that you can be given this same expression and equated to zero okay either whatever is given just follow the same idea and then you will come up with the expression okay so with the I, I, I established let's go to Ivy one interesting part Ivy now when you look at Ivy very well it is what we call composition of function okay I mean statement itself is a composite function but it's under the heading composition of functions so for the composition of functions what it's simply saying is that we have to place a function in another function so that's what the question is about so when you look at this very well you can see that g of x is placed in the bigger bracket of what f meaning that they are putting the function g of x inside the function f so you see f is outside a bigger bracket and inside that big bracket of f there is g of x inside 
So what they are trying to tell you is that, okay, anywhere you find x within the f of x function, you should put the whole g of x function in there. Okay? Same with v. They are now putting the f of x function into the g function. So you see, the g's function with its bracket, then we are placing the whole f of x inside. When you have this situation, then we call it what? The composition of function or composite functions. Okay? So now let's say we are asked to solve this. Then we just have to follow what composite function says. So first of all, we know that our g of x is giving us x plus 3. And they say we should put that g of x into the f of x function. That means whatever we see x in the f of x function, we we'll put the whole of g of x expression in there. Okay? So then, f of g of x is just going to be this. This x that is here will now be replaced by the g of x function. So it's going to be s squared plus x plus 3 all squared. Okay? x plus 3 all squared then plus 1 so you can see instead of it being x squared plus 1 the x has been replaced by the whole g of x function as the question is demanding that the x in here should be replaced by the whole g of x function so you, all you need to do is to pick the g of x function and put it in place of what x inside the f of x function when you do that then the rest is just history okay so then f of g of x over here is expand this this will just be x plus 3 on another x plus 3 so x plus 3 on x plus 3 and then when you do that expansion you can simply reduce this okay so that is going to give you s squared plus 6x plus 9 when you expand this bracket, you are going to get s squared plus 6x plus 9. All this plus 1. Okay? All that plus 1. So at the end of the day, you are going to have your f of g of x being s squared plus 6x plus 10. s squared plus 6x plus 10. And this is exactly what they are requesting from you. So the whole idea about composite functions is that only identify what function to put in the other. So we always put the one within in, in the bracket into the function that is outside the bracket. So we put a function in the bracket into the one that is what? Outside the bracket. Okay? Same with V. If we are looking for G of F of X, right? g of f of x then it means that we are putting the f of x function into g of x so anywhere we will see x in the g of x function we will replace it by the f of x function very simple so then this one will give us this x here will be replaced by the f of x so s squared plus 1 right or this plus 3 so it's just a matter of expanding this and then you have s squared plus 4 okay s squared plus 4 so there is, this is not a special case so much but it's worth it that you need to know that anytime you give we give you something like this always put the function that is within the bigger bracket into the function that is um, in the outer outside the bracket okay so same with this you put the f of x into g as simple as that okay in some cases in some cases there are, they can give you an image to 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 insert into maybe one of these expressions for instance let's say for v i they give you f f of say g of 1 okay f of say g of 1 so you are supposed to find f of g of 1 what this is simply saying is that you can 
everything here. What you can do over here is this f of g of 1. You first of all, you know, Boardman, so bracket first. So you first of all simplify what is in the bracket. What is g of 1 that they are talking about? So you need to first of all find what g of 1 is. Okay? You can find what g of 1 is. So now, no matter g of 1, anywhere I see x in d, I'll put 1. So it's going to be 1 plus 3, and that's going to be 4. So it means that anytime I, I see the statement g of 1, it means that the value is what? 4. So if I am asked to put g of 1 into the f function, it's virtually asking me to put 4 into what? The f function. As simple as it is. So this f of what? g of 1. It's just going to be, we are putting this value into this. So, 4 squared plus 1. And that is going to be me 17. So, it is worth noting that any time an image is given to you in a composite function, you are not going to get an expression as your answer. Your answer will always, always be an image. Okay, anytime you are asked to find an image of a particular input or domain, by all means, whether it's composite, whether it's not, the answer you are going to get will also be a value. Okay, so this is a, a sample or other, should I say, other uh, questions that could give you in, in terms of functions, right? In terms of functions. So there are many, many, many applications of this, but the general idea is that maybe they can decide to change the functions for you, change these very functions to um, x, say x plus 7, and then s plus, say, 2x plus, say, 1. Okay, so now they change the functions. Say g of x is x plus 7 and then f of x is 2x plus 1. So this will be x plus 7 and then 2x plus 1. Okay. So you have this new set of questions. And they ask you to find the form of this. It's just a matter of uh, knowing that in this one you are going to put g of x into the f function. So put the expression g of x into the f function. So f of g of x what do we do we are supposed to put the g of x into f so anywhere pds is going to be x plus 7 then plus 1 so at the end of the day we are going to get 2x plus 14 or this plus 1 and so you are going to get 2x plus 15 and that is as simple as this. Same way, if you want to do this one too, just find the f of x, which is this, and then you put it in place of the x in g of x function. So g of f of x is going to be putting this inside g. So anywhere I see x in g, I'll replace it by this. So this is going to be 2x plus 1, or that plus 7. So at the end of the day, I'm going to get 2x plus 8. Very well. Very, very well. So the whole idea is established that you can be given more than a single function in a given question. But whatever activity or whatever um, task they ask you to perform, it's still doable. Okay. You can either be asked to sum them or you can be asked to uh, perform the composite function or, or any other task. So just to bring your attention that it is possible you can get two functions. But whichever way you get the question, it shouldn't be difficult. So we are at the end of our video. But before I go, I'll leave you with this assignment.
contact us, the numbers are displayed at the bottom of the screen. So you can contact us for any problem. This video was brought to you by Kind Courtesy, Honorable David Telwakem, Principal Writer of King David College. So when you go on your knees, pray for him because he is having everybody at heart. Okay. So see you in our next video as we look at more examples in terms of uh, functions. Maybe then we will do a lot of money.